What's up everyone, Tim Long back with you. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to take that old dirty fireplace in your living room, spruce it up a little bit, and make it the focal point of all of your entertainment parties. My fiance and I just got a brand new couch, and we realized that this living room is missing that focal point that needs to bring the whole room together. We needed something in the fireplace that would really pop, really kind of drive it home, that was different than what everyone else has in their living rooms, something that would set us apart and make us so unique that everyone would love. That's when I came up with the idea of taking some real pine logs, wrapping them with copper twinkle lights, and making something that emulates a real fire in our own fireplace. So let's dive into the fire, let's get heated up, let's see how we're gonna make this fireplace centerpiece. Here we go. The first thing I had to do was get an extension cord so I could get some power out into the yard so I could operate my reciprocating saw as well as my sander. Both those tools are going to be the electrical components we're using to make these logs. I snagged these pine logs from a friend's tree who had fallen during a storm this past winter. After letting them sit and dry in the basement for a few months, I knew these logs were ready to be transformed into some artwork. First things first, we need to knock off all this old loose bark. The bark can hold a lot of moisture and sometimes some weird bugs and stuff so we're going to want to get rid of all of that. The next thing I'm gonna do is get a wire brush and get to scraping. You want all the spots that look wet or still have bark on them to be completely removed. If you have any stubborn pieces around any of the knots or little branchlings, go ahead and flip that bad boy around and take to it like a chisel. Using the handle of your brush, just like a pry bar, will really help get all those extra pieces out of there. For this project, I'm using five different size logs, all about the same length. This will give you a nice diversity in the fireplace and make it just like an authentic fire. As soon as you finish one log, go ahead and repeat this step for the next four or five or however many you choose to do. Once all the logs are cleaned up, it's time to clean up all those bulging knots and those little branch lanes. Make sure you have your wood blade on the reciprocating saw and get to knocking off those nubs. Once you have all those pieces sawed off, go ahead and grab your sander. You want the wood to have a nice natural look, so make sure you don't over sand it or sand it too much in any of the spots. You just want to get those nubs to be nice and smooth and flush with the rest of it without overdoing it. Once that sanding is complete, it's time to select the stain that you want. Try picking something that matches your interior. I'm using a Minwax Dark Walnut Finish since my mantle is black and the stain pairs so well with it. Before applying to the logs you're using, get a test piece of wood and make sure you like the way it looks when it's dry so that it matches nicely. Next, it's time to get to staining. Grab a towel or a rag or something that you can dispose of when you're done. Dip a little bit of the towel into the stain and start swiping along your piece. You don't want too much of the stain on at one time and to leave any excess. We will then take a dry part of the cloth and wipe away any excess stain so it doesn't coagulate on the piece. Don't forget to stain both ends of the log too. Once you've finished staining, you want these logs to dry out so you can see what the finished color will look like. I left these out in the sun for about two hours and they ended up exactly like what I was looking for. Next, we take some 80 to 120 grit sandpaper and give it a good hard sanding. This helps remove any stain we may have missed and gives the logs a nice more authentic look like we found them in a forest. Once the hand sanding is done, grab some boiled linseed oil and seal it up. You can find this near the paint thinner at your local Lowe's. Squirt some onto a new cloth and begin wiping down the logs the same way you did with the stain. In the same fashion, take a dry part of the cloth and remove any excess oil. The linseed oil is going to give a nice glossy, wax-like finish and seal the wood when it is done. Make sure you leave this out to dry for at least 24 hours. Next up, we take our copper twinkle lights and we load them with batteries. You can find these lights on Amazon for about $5 a strand. Then we get to wrapping the logs. Start at one end and begin to wrap until the entire log is covered with just one strand. After your logs are wrapped, you can begin setting up your fireplace. Place them however you wish inside the hearth and watch it glow. I ended up adding a fireplace rack at the bottom to raise them up and give them a more home-like feel. Now it's time to sit back with a nice glass of whiskey and enjoy the warm glow of the mock fireplace you just built. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to hit that like button below and hit subscribe below as well. 
These videos are a lot of fun for me to make, and maybe next time I can teach you some more about my home decor. We'll see you in the next video. Later.